Oh, hello everyone. Gayatri here with you today. Last week I shared a clip of a beach background I made using alcohol inks and foil paper on my Instagram and Facebook. To my surprise, the clip had a great response and a lot of questions on how I made the background and what paper I used, etc. So I thought I'll make a video showing how I made the background and what products I used. Here is a set of four cards using the backgrounds and also using Simon Says Stamp under the sea animal stamp set and the coordinating dies from the sending sunshine release so the product i've used here are the upo paper i am seriously running out of this paper and i need to stock it up immediately uh, the alcohol blending solution alcohol inks for the water are pool sailboat blue and the turquoise and for the sand i use the gold mixative and espresso alcohol ink i also use the straw and a brush and a cup which i haven't shown here but you will see me use it later so to start with i applied the blending solution generously on the top two-third of the panel and dropped in the three alcohol inks blue alcohol inks that is the pool turquoise and the sailboat blue using the straw i moved the inks on the background and help it blend with each other now with respect to making the alcohol ink backgrounds you never get the same background if you try to replicate it because you do not have control over how the alcohol inks move on the upo paper this depends on how much blending solution you use how much of the alcohol inks you use the strength with which you blow on the straw to move, the, move and blend the ink as, as well as the weather. So I add alcohol inks and blending solution and move it using the straw uh, until I'm happy with the background. Now moving on to the sand part of the background, I again apply a generous amount of the blending solution and the gold mixative and couple of drops of espresso alcohol ink you do not need a lot of espresso ink because it's like a super dark color and you need sand not mud so the same process using the straw i move the alcohol inks try and blend them but this time the sand does not seem to work for me so i add, add more blending solution more of the gold uh, mixatives i am still not happy so what I do, I take the blending solution in a cup using the brush which I, I have used just for the alcohol inks. I try to move the gold mixatives and try to create a sand background. I am still unhappy with it. So now I leave it aside and do the same process on the water side of the background because I did, do want a bit more texture and movement on the water side so i add drops of blending solution um, to the blue part of it and try using the straw to blend the colors again so basically i'm removing all the hard edges um, i do want a smooth wavy uh, water sea wave looks on the blue part of the uh, background so i repeat the process uh, on the blue part of the background until i'm happy with it so now trying to rescue the sand part i add a bit more blending solution and a bit more gold mixatives and then using the straw i try to blend and move the ink well i can only try uh, because you do not have control over how uh, the alcohol ink moves sorry my head is in the way there so I just left it and moving on to foiling so I'm using Qatar creations blue green ir iridescent foil here um, for the background the idea behind it is basically I want the Sun's reflection on the water so instead of using the gold or a silver foil I use tone on tone blue green foil on the tacky areas to get the water reflections basically 
so you place the foil paper on the tacky areas rub it with your fingers and then remove the foil and the foil sticks to the places where the alcohol ink is still tacky so you repeat the process until you are happy with the amount of foiling on the background Here I'm happy with the amount of foiling on the background and here is a close-up look of the tone-on-tone -tone foiling on the water part of the alcohol ink background. Again you do not have control over where the foil sticks to the alcohol ink background and that's the whole beauty of it. Using the second largest stitched rectangle die from Simon Says Stamp, I die cut two small panels out of the background I have created. I used Spellbinder Platinum 6 machine to die cut my panels. Since my panels are smaller, I decided to mat them using a larger stitch rectangle white panel. So I am using a, the largest stitch rectangle die from Simon Says Stamp to die cut two white stitched panels. I am um, using Nina Sola white 80 pound cardstock here. The stamp set I have used is from Simon Says Stamp under the Sea Animal Stamp Set from the Sending Sunshine release. If you've been following me on the Instagram, you would have noticed that I colored these images during my holidays last week using Prisma color pencils. And when I got home, I die cut these images using the coordinating dies. And now I have a bunch of images to make cards. Now, this is the most fiddling part of my card making process. I take forever to find the right placement of the images as well as the stamped sentiment. So for your sake I have cut out a huge part of the footage of me fiddling with the placement of the images. So you don't have to watch me placing the images, taking it out and putting it back. So the final placement is I'm going to use the green turtle instead of the blue one and use two starfish instead of the two fishes but then you will see me change uh, one of the images later in the video where I've taken out the whale and use the pink fish instead. The card base is Nina Solar white 110 pound cardstock which is white basically and I have prepped all the panels as well as the die cut images with scotch foam tape. So I remove the backing of the scotch foam tape from the alcohol ink panel and adhere it on to the white stitched panel. And I also adhere the stamped die cut image using the foam tape. The sentiment from under the sea animal stamp set I simply stamped on a piece of 110 pound Nina Solar white cardstock using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm using Mini Misty here 
and I cut out the sentiments into strips added foam tape to the back of the strips to, before adhering them on the panel Now I remove the backing of the foam tape behind the stitch rectangle panel and adhere the entire completed panel onto the white card base. Finally I add a pretty pink posh sparkling clear jewels on the card front to mimic uh, water bubbles and this completes both my cards. Here are the two cards made using the beach background using alcohol inks and tone on tone foiling. I made two more cards previously using the first beach background panel which I made and shared on my Instagram and Facebook. So in all there is a set of four cards using the alcohol ink backgrounds and Simon Says Stamp under the sea animals stamp set and coordinating dies. All the supplies used to make these cards are listed below. Check out my blog post for more photos, close-ups and details. Link to my blog post is in the description box below. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. I will leave you with the photos of the completed cards. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.